Throughout the spring and summer, NOAA's Office of Coast Survey and National Ocean Service conducted multiple hydrographic mapping missions in the Great Lakes aboard the NOAA ship Thomas Jefferson, along with Coast Survey's Navigation Response Team and contract partners. Although NOAA has a significant presence in the Great Lakes, this was the first time a NOAA hydrographic ship was deployed to the region since the early 1990s. Modern data is critically important to identify hazards and protect economically important and ecologically sensitive regions, such as the Great Lakes. These missions successfully provided modern data to the scientific and benthic mapping communities, as well as contributed to updating marine navigation products and services. Surveys were also conducted in Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary, as well as the newly designated Wisconsin Shipwreck Coast National Marine Sanctuary. These missions generated high quality data benefiting sanctuary management by providing a better understanding of the cultural and natural features present in these underwater parks. The data collected will update navigational charts and create habitat maps and related products in cooperation with NOAA's National Centers for Coastal and Ocean Sciences and other partners. These new products will provide resource managers, scientists, and the public with an unprecedented understanding of the lake bed within the sanctuaries. The team aboard Thomas Jefferson also conducted operational testing of an uncrewed surface vehicle. This was a major step towards integrating uncrewed survey platforms in our fleet, which will amplify our existing capabilities by increasing productivity, efficiency, and safety, especially in remote or extreme environments. Overall, NOAA's 2022 Great Lakes Hydrographic Surveying Campaign was a tremendous success, resulting in 1,380 square nautical miles of Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and Lake Erie surveyed. We appreciate the efforts and contributions of everyone who supported this important work. And a special thanks to NOAA's Office of Marine and Aviation Operations and the NOAA Corps officers and mariners aboard Thomas Jefferson that made this mission possible. Thank you.